So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of frames. And let's say what I want to do is I want to use the swap overlay feature inside of a Figma design file for prototyping. So here you can see that there's a frame and let's say I want to link up this button over here with the frame too. And then if I were to click on more detail, then I want it to open this. And if I were to click on back, then it goes back over here and I can click anywhere else to actually close this up. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here and then I'm going to go to prototype and then I'm going to click and drag and link um, this button onto this frame right here. So once I do that over here, it says on click, on click, I want it to open up this overlay. So this overlay is opened up. So now once that is done, if I were to click on more detail, so I'm just going to link this out into this frame right here. Uh, I want it to not navigate, but I want it to swap overlays with this, as you can see right here. And if I were to click back, I want it to go back over here onto this frame. So I'm just going to click on swap overlay over here again. So that is how this will work. So now uh, what I want uh, it to happen is that I want to have a bit of animations over here as well. So let me just click and here it says on click, it opens up the overlay over here. The animation is instant. So I want this to move in, let's say uh, from the bottom right here. So from the bottom, it will move in and this will be uh, on the bottom itself. So I'm, I want this to be on the, uh, let's say for example, on bottom center. So it'll move in. So then for this one, I'm going to click on um, this uh, uh, overlay right here. So on the swap overlay, this is going to move in, uh, now let's say from the bottom over here again, and this will be, let's say for example, um, uh, over here. So this is in move in from the bottom, it'll swap the overlays right here uh, onto that place over here. So if I were to click on back again, I want it to change out. So I'm going to go around over here, so it will move in from the bottom again, as you can see right here. So I got a bunch of settings as you can see right here. So this is what I have. So this is the open, open overlay. And what I also want to do is close when clicking outside, outside of the overlay. If I were to click, then I want it to close. So once all of those settings are done, I'm going to click on the play button. And then what happens is that it opens uh, this out right here, as you can see. So it has this. Um, overlay right here. So if I were to click on this button, it actually pops up from the bottom, click on more details, then you got more. You click on back, then it swaps over here again. So you can really make your object interactive as you can see. And if I were to click outside, it'll just go out. Click this again, click outside, it go, goes out right here. More details right here, click outside, it goes over here. So you can see right here, there's more details and it pops back. You can go back and so forth as you can see right here. And that is how you can swap overlays inside of Figma. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.